Welcome guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect a, um, your PC to another PC. So uh, let's assume um, you are working for somebody or somebody contacted you and said they have a bug uh, on their code and is on their PC and you are actually in Nigeria and the person is in the UK. So there is actually a way you can connect to the person's PC and then you control the person's PC from your location. So that is what I'm going to show you guys how to do today, making use of TeamViewer. So if you don't have TeamViewer yet, go ahead and download it. Just go ahead and open an Internet Explorer, type in teamviewer.com and it's going to bring you to the TeamViewer homepage. Let me go ahead and type it in so that you get it, teamviewer.com. So when you type it in, go ahead and go to the download page, which is this area. Just click on free download. It's actually free. Click on that and it's going to have a download. And then once you complete, just go to the download location, double click on it and then install it. Just for a simple a simple steps like next, 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 and then confirm the agreement and then you are going to go. So once you finish downloading it, go ahead and open it. Let's continue. So when you open it, you are going to see different things on your dashboard area. So on this area, you have your ID, and the ID is actually the unique um, the unique login detail that you need. Each device has different IDs. So you are going to get, um, if somebody wants to log in to or want to connect to your PC, they will need this ID and this password. So you actually have to send this to them for them to be able to log in. To your system and then operate it properly so for the um if you want to connect um to another person's id just put in the id right here where it says session code and then once you've done you click on connect and then once you finish you go ahead and type in the password it always comes with the password and then on this other device the asus actually look a bit different now the reason why it look a bit different is because um i downloaded this uh this particular application long ago which is actually february and i downloaded this one today this is their current ui and you know just like every software they are always changing their software ui so if you're ready to connect go ahead and type in the um id i already have this id so no need for me to type it you can see on the device that is the same so once i click on connect all i need to do is actually to put the password because i actually tested this out and i logged into the id and then with a password but now the password have changed so once the password changed go ahead and enter in the password that is displayed so i'm going to go ahead and type in the password that is displayed on the screen but actually you are not going to be seeing the person's screen so obviously the person will have to send you these details so that you'll be able to log in if this person did not send you the detail there is no way you'll be able to log into their pc and have access and now once you finish you're going to notice where it says connecting to desktop which is actually the person's PC name. And you notice right there is already connected. So right now you notice I can see the screen and this is actually the person's screen. And do not worry, your own screen is also active. If I click on this area, um, if I want to minimize this particular person's PC, I can just click here to minimize. And then um, it's taking some time. So you notice I just minimize, I can minimize also. This is now my PC, I can click on start. I can go to the folder, I can go to anywhere, but then I want to go back to the person's PC, which is right here. So now I can easily control the person's browser. Let me go ahead and close this Internet Explorer, and then I'm going to go ahead and open um, this particular uh, Chrome browser. So whatever you want or whatever you're doing on this device is going to actually be working the same way. So I'm going to click on this to open that particular tab or that particular browser. And you notice it's open. I just open Google. Let me go ahead and type in tstechtalk.com and hit enter. So whichever way, um, I actually did not put .com. So whichever way it is, you can browse and do so many things controlling the person's PC. So now let's say um, I have a picture or videos on my PC and I want to transfer it to the person's PC. So it's as easy as going over to my uh, folder. This is actually my folder. Do not forget, this is mine. And this is the person's own folder. So go to my folder. And then I'm going to go to my downloads. Wait for it. It's still loading. Uh, double click on downloads. I didn't know why it took so much time. And then I'm going to click on my TS Tech Talk logo, right click. 
and then copy and then go over to the person's pc and scroll down sorry no need to scroll down let me just open this uh file folder here it's opening wait for it all right it's open so i'm going to go to the picture area click on pictures and oh this is a coincidence i didn't even know there was a logo there before so right click i actually want to paste i can just use a keyboard shortcut but i do not want to do that and paste so you notice i pasted this thing from my uh pc to the person's phone and i can also copy this logo which is actually the ts tech talk logo let me right click i do not want to use keyboard shortcut so you won't get confused right click and then go to my own folder and paste so you can do a lot of things from the person's device and also on your own device and i can also delete things from the person's device let me go right here okay there is another ts tech logo i don't know why i put it multiple places let me just leave it just in case so let's say right here let's say right here i do not want this particular logo is that this is not my system this is actually the um, thinkpad so i can right click I'm just showing you guys to know that I can actually do a whole lot of things on the person's device. I can right click and then delete. So you notice I just deleted something from the person's device. So I can control the person's device totally if the person give me the privilege. And also if the person wants to deny me the privilege, they can also do that. So if for some reason I want to communicate with this person, there is actually a way to communicate with them on TeamViewer. So um, there is actually uh, a place where you test the person from your team viewer. Let me hold on. Go right here. You notice where it says chat, right? Click on that. And okay, I will have to log in to be able to chat. But initially, I supposed to be able to communicate with the computer, like sending message. And it used to work that way, but for some reason, I don't know why it did not show me that option. So let me just minimize. And then um, more things, guys. Let me go ahead and disable. Actually, I want to show you how to um, manually edit what the person can do. So on the other device, just look to the uh, access on this um, access, right? You can easily close the session. Once you close the session, it ends the session with the person. And also, you can click on this to hide this panel. You can also undock it to display. And you can, um, there are more functionalities. You can click on functionalities and say session list. So it's going to display the session list, which is actually here. And you can also open it to pop out so that you will be able to do your things easily. And whenever you want to close it, you can also click on this to close all connection. And also, guys, you can actually um connect multiple device multiple device can actually be connected to one device so multiple device can be connected to um let's say five device or four device can actually be connected to one particular device and also there is actually limitations once you reach their limit you actually have to make payments to use their premium version and then let me go ahead and end this section because i actually want to show you guys a way to actually deny the person some privilege there is actually a way to deny the person some privilege um from connecting so i just ended that session on this device you notice it's no longer displaying the device so i just clicked on okay to confirm that i'm okay with the session ending so there are actually things you can do by clicking on this area here at the top. and then you can notice you can do a lot of settings under this area like you can change your desktop name you can change the lightning you can come to the account you can come to the security and then you can change a whole lot of things like the password and everything so if you're communicating or if you are making use um, of team viewer there is a lot of things you can do you can share sound and music with the person you can um auto record the meeting so that you just see if probably you are not paying attention this is going to automatically be recorded so you can whenever you want you can always go back and watch the recording and you see for yourself how the person actually uh what the person actually did to your pc or how it was and then 
You can also come here for custom invitation. You can customize this and you can easily share it. And you can also come to the advanced area, click on show advanced, and you can even see a whole lot of more things. I'm not going to go through all of these because there is a, so many things that you can do. I can't cover everything. Now, the reason why I can't cover everything because it's already gone beyond my time. So guys, TeamViewer is actually a very unique software. Also, like other um, software that I've mentioned on my previous video, if you do not want to make TeamViewer, if you don't want to make use of TeamViewer or you're having any issue with TeamViewer, you can go ahead and make use of um, any desk or other software I've mentioned. There is a particular video I made previously where I showed you guys how to um, the list of top five application, top six application that you can use to share your screen. You can actually go ahead and watch this video and see the best of the best and you can do it. And also guys, do not forget that I am doing this on Windows, but even though it's Windows, I can still connect a window to a Mac or a Linux. You can connect just about any software that um, TeamViewer supports. And if you go to their website, you'll be able to see the software that they support. And guys, I really thank you for the time watching this video. Thank you for watching this video this long. And I really appreciate your time and support. And also guys, if you care to support even more, you could actually subscribe to my membership and I really appreciate that. If you join my membership, it actually helped my channel to grow and it helped me to get um, also to know that you guys are really loving my content and uh, I really appreciate that. So I really appreciate so far. I thank you so much um, for all my support. And um, I'm going to leave the link and you can also always go ahead and support me. Guys, I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.